Consciousness is the only reality. We live and move in different states. Kung ano ang iyong kasalukuyang estado, doon mananaig ang iyong manifestation. Neville Goddard's Secret to Manifestation Madalas ko nababanggit si Neville Goddard when I try to explain about manifestation. In this video, I will share with you ang isa sa kanyang mga manifestation technique na makakatulong sa inyong mapabilis ang inyong manifestation. I will also tell why this works at kung paano mo ito gagawin ng tama. Kaya kung interesado kang malaman yan, panoorin mo ang video na ito. Ako po si Ms. P, Princess Javier Castro, creating videos to help you live a great life filled with happiness, love, and success. Kung bago ka sa channel na ito, please consider subscribing. Pindutin mo na rin niyang all para updated ka sa lahat ng mga videos na ina-upload ko. Sa mga gustong matuto kung paano nga ba mag-manifest, siguro nalilito na kayo sa dami ng mga information na nababasa niyo online o napapanood niyo ng mga videos. Ano nga ba ang tamang method? What manifestation technique really works? Maybe you have tried all of them, pero you seem not to manifest what you want. Remember, manifestation techniques are only tools that will help you impress that thing that you want in your subconscious mind. But there is also such thing as overdoing it. So paano mo malalaman? You will know it by the way you feel. I will try to make my explanation simple, In the hope na marami sa ating mga kababayan ang makakaintindi nito. In my eagerness to learn about manifestation and the law of attraction, marami-rami na rin ako mga nakilala mga authors who teach this and have read their works. Si Neville who bases teachings from the scriptures. Masasabi kong isa sa mga may pinaka-effective way para ikaw ay makapag-manifest. I manifested a lot of things using his method, small things and big things. From free drink or food to money, job, projects, mga relationships, trips, local and abroad, at marami pag iba. Isa sa mga itinuturo ni Neville ang living your desire alone. Di ba sabi nila you have to have that burning desire for you to manifest what you want. Ang sabi ni Neville, when you think of your desire too much, you are putting yourself in a place of lack. Dahil sa madalas mo itong iniisip, lumalakas ang energy na ito hindi mo pa nakakamtan. In effect, you keep on wanting it to come to fruition. So, ano dapat gawin? Think from it. Don't think of it, but think from it. Live as if you already have it. Move to the consciousness na nakuha mo na ang iyong pangarap. Remember, consciousness is the only reality. We live and move in different states. Kung ano ang iyong kasalukuyang estado, doon mananaig ang iyong manifestation. For example, you are in a state of lack or poverty, o kaya naman you are in a state of plenty or abundance. You will manifest more of that. Nabanggit ko kanina yung living as if, di ba? Dito nagkakamali ang marami. Ano nga ba ang ibig sabihin talaga ng living as if? Halimbawa, gusto mong maging mayaman. Tapos ang perception mo sa mga tao na mga mayayaman ay gumastos lamang ng gumastos. Na makabili ng mga magaganda at magagarang bagay. So ikaw gusto mo rin mag-live as if gastos ka rin ng gastos. Bili ka rin ng bili ng mga mamahalip mga bagay. Actually, walang masama sa pagbili ng mga mahal na mga gamit. Pero kung deep inside ang feeling mo ay mahirap ka pa rin, kahit pa marami ka ng mga nabili mamahaling mga gamit, ang mga nanaig pa rin sa iyo, ay ang pagiging mahirap. Dahil dapat ang nauna ay ang feeling mo na ikaw ay mayaman na at hindi ang pagbili para maramdaman mo na ikaw ay mayaman na. Ulitin natin yun ha. Dapat mauuna ang pakiramdam ng pagiging mayaman kaysa sa pagbili ng mga bagay para maramdaman ang pagiging mayaman. Yan ang ibig sabihin ng living from it. You don't live of it but living from it. Siguro itatanong mo sa akin, Miss P, paano ko mararamdaman ng pagiging mayaman kung ang nakikita ko ay kahirapan? It is by appreciating what you already have. The roof over your head, the clothes that you wear, the air that you breathe. There are so much to appreciate. Those who do not understand this theory ay lalong nalulunod sa kahirapan. 
So next time when you desire something, you think from it, not of it. Big difference. Dahil when you think of it, you are feeling the lack of it. When you think from it, you are living it already. Diba nga, how can you want something if you already have it? If you're struggling with money and you want more of it, bless whatever money you have. If you want a better relationship, think that you are already enjoying that wonderful relationship. My challenge to you is to put this to test. Subukan ninyo. Try ninyo and let me know your experience. I hope you find this video helpful and if you do, please give me a thumbs up para makita din ng mga ilang mga tao na naghahanap ng ganitong klaseng informasyon. I-share mo na rin sa iyong mga friends and loved ones, the people that you care about, so that like you, they too can live a great life. I'll see you next time!